took forever to get stuff ready. I had to put wiring on the truck. I had to get all the batteries in the boat and everything. It took me like an hour to get ready, but I'm finally on the river. And when I went to back the boat in, uh, the, the truck started rolling in the water and I kind of got my legs wet because it, I was using a different vehicle than what I have been using. And it has a manual transmission and the parking brake didn't stick perfectly and started to roll back into the water. So it was really eventful, but finally we're fishing. up here. Oh, and we got ourselves a sauger. First sauger of the day. Mmm. Yummy. That would be tasty. That's not big enough though. That's like 13. I should get on the bump board. I bet you that's an inch short. It's a nice fat walleye. Fucking A. Court 17 and a half. It's a beauty. We had to let this guy go too. This one's a half an inch short. That's a nice walleye though. No wonder it hit on the foul. It's a nice crap. Walleye. These are nice looking walleye. It's like a 15, 16 inch. Too bad it's not a keeper. Nice walleye though. Please be a saga. This fish is nice, whatever it is. It's probably a fucking cat, and I can't keep it for sturgeon. Sheep head? Oh, it's a sheep head that snagged. That's a disappointment. So I was always curious what is swimming underneath this dam. So I decided to take my ice flash fishing underwater camera out and drop it down from my boat when I was walleye fishing. And now that the water's, the algae has died back, I, the water's a little bit clearer than it normally is. And all that has dropped also, it's clearer. And I was wondering what I was going to see at the bottom of this river. And... It was a pretty rocky bottom with lots of algae and some zebra mussels and other things on the rocks. And I also saw what I think is a sturgeon and a catfish and possibly a quillback swimming around in the later part of this video. But I was curious what always what lived down and what like 20 feet of water when I were on walleye fishing because I was walleye fishing in like 12 to 22, 24 feet of water on the drop off and just working it back to, around on it. And they were just scattered throughout there. And that's where the fish were holding. And I was just digging with minnows and drifting with a minnow in a split shot and using plastics, which most of the plastics were in the MTB video I did the other day. I have one more walleye fishing video and then I'm probably gonna be mostly doing ice fishing videos from then on. So that's what my channel is up to. So here's what I got for footage. I'll have to try this again and see what else I see swimming around down here.
I will say I've caught three that have been between 17 and a half and 18, but none that have been over 18 yet. The size of the walleyes are up. There's quite a few, like 15 to 18 inches up here though today. I haven't been out here in a while, so. Yeah. How long is this guy? This guy's probably too short. That's too thick. Yeah, 14 and a half. Fuck. Fucking close sogger. Fucking man. You're beautiful soggers. Fucking A. Too close. That's just a tad under. That's so close.